Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. We are in a section of Staten Island called Prince's Bay, Lemon Creek. Uh, this is a fishing pier. Let me just show you. All the guys are fishing today, and women. Okay, but this isn't a fishing channel. This is a photography channel. So, today's subject is all about your vision. Now, behind me, right, let me see, right over here is a very well-known, uh, very much photographed, uh, it's a ship beacon to show ships where the channel is. So I've come here all different times of the year to photograph it. And you can approach landscape photographs like this uh, in a few different ways. You can take it very sterile, as if it was a crime scene. Just photograph it and shove it out there into the universe and it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Reactions to the photograph will be, oh, that's nice. Or what I'm about to show you is you can manipulate different landscape photographs like this, different scenes, in many different ways. For example, this is the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark I with the 100 to 400 Olympus lens. And on board it has art filters. That's one way. The art filters do things like uh, black and white. Warning. You could do things like a pinhole, you could do things like sepia, you can do uh, high contrast, you can do um, art, they have an art where it actually looks like uh, somebody drew your landscape using uh, pastels, pencils. That's one way to improve your photograph. The other way is to take the sterile photograph right out of camera, unmanipulated, and use a post-production software, which you don't pay a monthly fee for, you own it. It's called Luminar 4. I bought mine, not a sponsor. And you take your sterile photograph, such as this, this beautiful uh, beacon over here, okay? And you can manipulate it because as you see, the sky is pretty plain. And wouldn't it be great to add a little bit of art to your photograph by manipulating the sky. Now, some viewers of mine have said uh, when I show them photographs used with Luminar 4, when you add a stormy cloud or etc., they make comments like, well, that's just a composite. Good morning. And when you do things like that, when you say things like, well, it's just a composite. That's like looking at modern art where they take different types of material like a piece of driftwood and a piece of glass and a piece of uh, ceramic and they put it all together and they make art. That's modern art. Would you go up to the artist and say, ah, that's just a composite? People have to be more educated when it comes to what's art, especially what is photographic art. Now, what I'm about to show you are several photographs of this scene. It's the sterile photograph of this landscape. And then I'll show you the sterile photograph changed in camera with this Olympus OMD EM5 Mark I the art filter setting on the bracket. And then I'll show you the sterile photograph manipulated with Luminar 4, adding some clouds and maybe some lightning. The whole point of the story is you wanna show your photograph, you wanna show your work in the best possible light. You, we are creating art here. Now, if you are a purist, which is fine, all your photographs will be as if they were crime scene photographs. 
photographs. That's great. If you're a purist, that's great. But remember one thing. There's really no such thing as a pure photograph if you're a purist because your sensor has been manipulated by 10 or so engineers. Then the photograph that you take with your digital camera is put through a processing engine that 10 different engineers thought of what colors should look like and what distortion should be corrected. And if you shoot film as a purist, you just want to take a photograph and put it out there in the universe, that's not really pure either because the engineers who developed the silver halide crystals, some of them developed triangular silver halide crystals, which is different, will give you a different look than if they were octagonal silver halide crystals. So just remember something. We're photographers, we shoot photographs, it's our art, and you have an obligation to make your photographs as artistic as possible. Okay, let's look at the photographs right now of the same scene taken from the same location on the same day, just manipulated in different ways. And you tell me which is better, sterile? And you'll get a reaction such as, oh, that's nice. Or how about if you show your photograph to people that go, wow, holy cow. You tell me what's better. Let's look at the photographs right now, guys. And I just want to tell you something. It's July here in New York. It's 8 a.m. and it's 80 degrees already. I'm getting the hell out of here, back into the air conditioning. Let's look at the photographs right now. <laughs> 